this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the love and support. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two-way community. Appreciate the ones who've been sticking with me through the ups and the downs, the good and the bad. Appreciate the ones that's getting on board. If you're not got on board, I appreciate you anyway for taking the time watching the video. And, you know, I also appreciate the ones who are out fighting for the Second Amendment. And because the number one goal over here is to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. We got a long fight ahead, people. And like I said before, no fame, no glory over here. It's going to take us, the citizen. None of your politicians, the president, none of your superstars, none of your social media stars. None of these people can do it. If they could, they'd be already done it by now. We won't be talking about it, but they can't. So it's going to take the citizens. So we're going to have to get out and vote because we know we got a huge election ahead. So with that said, we're going to keep talking about gun owners' mistakes. I'm talking about you have gun owners carrying farms out there making, making mistakes. The mindset, people, is all about the mindset. I'm talking about when you're carrying a farm, the number one thing that a lot of people don't focus on is their emotions and stuff like that. Learn how to deal with the stress and stuff that you're going to deal with in public. Um, many uh, farm owners goes out there with the same mentality. When you're carrying a farm, you must be above the average citizen, people. I have learned over the years that you're going to endure a whole lot more than the average citizen when carrying a farm. You're going to deal with a whole lot of stuff that you're going to have to learn how to walk away, de-escalate and stuff. So we have another gun owner who's now the police is searching, looking for and everything. And, you know, this is there was a woman that was in a Walmart. Now, she was in a Walmart and she was arguing with a Walmart employee over a money order, people. You know, these things that I talk about, it'd be simple stuff over a money order. She's arguing over a money order and she's carrying a farm. So they get into a heated argument and everything. So this woman pulls out her farm, her gun, and she pulled the gun out and she start waving it around this and that pointing it at the employee. Now, while she's doing this, she has a child in the basket. She has a child with her in the basket, in the shopping cart. Now, she's putting everybody at danger. She's putting the customers, putting her own child in danger. She's waving around, just all willy-nilly inside the Walmart. And so, you know, this is the stuff that I'm talking about. You know, there's a lot of people who get guns and lose them just as fast as they get them. When you get your, when you get your gun, people, you're going to have to know the laws, know things that you can't do. You're going to have to have discipline. And it's bad enough that we have other things that we have to focus on and put all our energy and stuff on. But we also have to backtrack and show some of the mistakes that gun owners are making out there so we can prevent future gun owners from doing this because we're going to have gun owners lose their Second Amendment. A lot of people don't stress that. A lot of people don't talk about that. But we have gun owners that keep creating self-inflicted wounds to themselves. None of these laws and all this stuff is not even not even work, but they work once you do all this kind of stuff. That's why politicians and that's why you have all these laws. That's why you have the gun grabbers putting all this stuff in place so they can catch in these little spiderweb traps. So we're going to have gun owners that's going to fall off on this journey to preserve the second myth for future generation people. And so, you know, the police are now looking for this woman and everything. And, you know, it's sad that, you know, this has been happening. This just keep happening. A lot of people are under stress, but guess what? You need to learn how to discipline yourself. And, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, people pulling farms, there's more articles out there. So much, so many articles, I can't even cover them all, that you have people coming into the retailers and stuff, getting involved with arguments and disputes with the employees and pulling out farms. It, it, this is crazy, people. So just want to talk about that and everything. People, look, it's the mindset out there. You, when you're carrying a farm, people, you have to be above the average citizen. You're going to have to endure more. So just want to talk about to stop Gun owners stop the citizen from losing their Second Amendment and everything so we can have more people to fight for the Second Amendment and preserve it. The goal is to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. So with that said, this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.